Ever blame another dev for bad code? Well, this has happened to me before, a few times actually. It always happens when I'm kind of doing a deep dive through a code base. I found some really clowny code. My first reaction was, who would write such crappy code? And when I essentially looked at the git blame for this, I found my name. Johnny K. <laughs> it was essentially my code. I remember very specifically, at least when I was writing it, it was during a war room sprint, you know, very busy and hectic time. All of these thoughts came to me during that time. You know, the pressure, our non-negotiable deadline, the limitations of kind of the legacy systems that made things very difficult to code. And this kind of like insight <laughs> really reminded me that there is always context that I'm missing when I'm reviewing people's code. You know, when you review others' code, I think you should really give people the benefit of the doubt. People usually have really good intentions when they're coding, usually. Try approaching it with a little bit of grace. What were the deadlines that the decisions were made under? What kind of technical constraint might the author of that diff have to go through? What is the context that might be missing from 12 months ago? Next time, you're about to blame another dev for writing that crappy, bad code, that dev might just have been solving a specific problem, a problem that you just can't see right now. So approach your next diff review with some grace.